Hi there. Now for this question, first of all, we've got to find the midpoints of the 21 to 25 hour and the 31 to 40 hour groups. And to do this, do take care. We've got gaps here in our intervals here between 20 and 21. So that means that the lowest bound here is 20.5. The upper bound between 25 and 26 is 25.5. And with the 31 to 40 group, the lower bound is 30.5 and the upper bound is 40.5. So when it comes to finding the midpoints of these intervals, add together the 20.5 and the 25.5 and divide by 2. You're finding the mean of those two values. And if you do that, you should find you get a total of 46 and you've got to divide it by 2 so that's 23. 23 is the midpoint there. Add these two together and you get a total of 71. Divide that by 2 and you end up with 35.5. Now you could argue that with this question why not add the 21 and 25 together divide by 2 you'll get 23 and the same applies when you add the 31 and 40 together and divide by 2 that will give you 35.5 but that works in this question because you've got an equal interval of one unit either side okay that might not always be the case in question so I think it's a good idea to make sure you check out your lower bound and your upper bound values okay so that's part A done. Now, in part B, with questions like this where we've got to find the width and height of a particular group in a histogram, I like to sketch a diagram. You don't have to, but I feel it's easier. And a typical diagram that I'd draw for something like this would most probably be a couple of axes here. We've got frequency density and in this example this axis is hours. So we're told that the group 11 to 20 is represented by a bar of width 4 centimeters and a height of 6 centimeters. Now this is not drawn to scale, I'm just going to put that in there as our group, okay, going from 11 to 20. So do remember that the lower bound will be 10.5 and the upper bound for 20 will be 20.5. And we're told that this has a width then of 4 centimeters. So just mark that in there in blue, 4 centimeters. And also it's got a height of 6 centimeters. Now we've got this other group, okay, which is from 26 to 30. So if we just mark that in, okay, we'll just put it here, 26 to 30. I'll assume it's something like this. As I say, it's not drawn to scale, so don't uh, write to me saying that, uh, you know, it doesn't look right, okay? So 26 lower bound is 25.5, and the upper bound for the 30 will be 30.5. And we've got to see what the width of this would be. Well, can you see, this is very straightforward, because the width here, going from 10.5 to 20.5, is a width of 10 units, which I'll mark in in red there. The width from 25.5 to 30.5 is just 5 units. So clearly, then, what we've done is halve the width here, so therefore, the new width must be two centimeters, half the four centimeters. So just put it up here that the width, okay, for this one must be equal to two centimeters. So that's the first part then, the width. Now we've got to get the height here of this particular bar. And there's two ways that we could do this. I'll show you both ways, okay? Um, the first way, let's just call this height here h, okay, for the moment. And we know that this width now, we've just worked it out, is 2 centimeters. Now the first way I'm going to do this is by comparing the frequencies uh, to the areas of the rectangles. Remember that the areas of the rectangles are in direct proportion to the frequencies. Now we know that the frequency 
between 10.5 and 20.5 is this one here okay 15 so let's just mark that in there as being 15 for the frequency the frequency between 25.5 and 30.5 that's given by this one here 13 so we just mark that in as 13 so what I can do is set up a ratio equation if we look at the area okay let's just put the area idea here then the area of this rectangle would be 2 times h we'll do it in blue so you can see where I'm getting these values from hopefully that would be 2h and I would compare that with divide it by the area of this rectangle which would be 6 times 4 24 and this would be equal to comparing the frequencies we started with this rectangle so we start with this frequency that would be 13 compared to the frequency here which was B15 and so it's just a case of rearranging this for H and if I do rearrange it for H H will be equal to 13 divided by 15 and then it will be times 24 and divided by 2 or you could just cancel the 2 into the 24 goes 12 times and just times it by 12 I'll just write it though as 24 over 2 and if you work this out, you should find that height then comes out at 10.4 and that will be measured in centimetres. So that's one way that we could do this. Okay, so we'll just separate that there and I'll just write an alternative method or. And the alternative method would be to consider the frequency densities. For this particular question, it's slightly longer. Okay, so that's why I wouldn't necessarily go for it but it will work and the frequency densities if we just work it out for this particular class interval remember frequency density is equal to the frequency divided by class width the frequency was 15 and the class width was 10 units okay so 15 divided by 10 is 1.5 for this rectangle here the frequency density for this one is going to be the frequency which is 13 divided by the class width which is 5 units and that comes to 2.6 so what we've got here is in frequency density terms the height of this let's just mark it in red would be 1.5 units and for this rectangle it would be 2.6 units so what I can do now is compare the heights, okay? Create a ratio equation this way. So what I'm doing is say comparing H with the 6. So I'll just write H over 6. And this is going to be equal to comparing the frequency densities. So that would be the 2.6. We'll put that in red. 2.6 compared with the 1.5 I didn't have to do it quite like this I could have done H divided by 2.6 H compared with 2.6 is equal to 6 compared with or divided by 1.5 when rearranged it would still give me the same value of H so do try that okay but for this equation here H would equal 2.6 divided by 1.5 and then multiplied by 6. Work that out, it comes obviously to the same value that you got here, 10.4. 10.4 centimetres then for that height. So a couple of ways then that you could approach this question. So I hope it's given you some idea anyway if it caused any problems. Okay.